Let's turn to Genesis chapter 17, starting at verse 9. And God said to Abraham, Thou shalt keep my command, therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And then skipping down to verse 14. And the uncircumcised child whose flesh and his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. So my topic is the grievous involvements of being cut off. And we're going to do some comparing between the covenant of circumcision with Abraham and that with Christ. So let's let's read Colossians 2.11. This is talking about Christ. It says, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. The seriousness of this statement really depends on who's saying it. Mm -hmm. See, a man could say this, and he could go back on his word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some men would say it, and they would have no power to cut that soul off. Mm -hmm. But these are not the words of a man. Yeah. These are the words of the Almighty God. God is not a man that he should lie, Amen. neither the son of man that he should repent. Amen. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Uh -huh. Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Uh -huh. yes. God said in Malachi, I am the Lord, uh -huh. I change not. Amen. And Amen. Titus says that God cannot lie. Uh -huh. In Ezekiel 12, 25, God says, For I am the Lord, I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So God will follow through with what he says. Mm -hmm. And he has the power to do what he says. Amen. So he says that the uncircumcised man-child will be cut off from his people. Mm -hmm. And God's not going to change what he thinks about that. Mm -hmm. And he has the power to do it. Amen. Uh, Genesis 2.16 And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Mm -hmm. So God told him, If you eat of this tree, you will die. Mm -hmm. yes. And they ate of the tree, and Romans 5.12 says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. So they sinned, and just like God said, they died. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Exodus 31, 14, God said, Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. no, Numbers 15, 32. And while the children of Israel were yet were in the wilderness... They found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they found him gathering, and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in ward, because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. God is serious about what he says. Yeah. Yeah. If he commands something, he will execute the judgment of it. If he says the uncircumcised soul will be cut off, 
He will cut off the soul that is not circumcised. Mm -hmm. Now, for some reason, Moses had not circumcised his son. Exodus 4.24, And it came to pass, by the way in the inn, that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. Mm -hmm. So he let him go. God would have no mercy while Moses was disobeying him. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now God had just appointed to Moses to deliver his people out of Israel, and now he's going about to kill him. God is no respecter of persons. He will judge whoever disobeys his command. It doesn't matter who it is that's disobeying it. God will not go back on his word. Amen. So we see that if God says the uncircumcised man will be cut off, he will be cut off. Mm -hmm. If God says it, he's going to do it. Right. Amen. Now, is it fair that God would cut off the uncircumcised? Let me ask you this question. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Amen. 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 It is just and necessary for the uncircumcised man to be cut off from God's people. First, God gives the reason that these people are cut off. He says, The uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. Mm -hmm. So the, gov the covenant that God made with Abraham was that God would be their God, and he would give them a land, and they would be circumcised. So by very nature of a covenant... If one party doesn't do his part of the covenant, the other is free from doing his side. Mm. So this, this is just by nature of the covenant, that soul should be cut off. Why should they be associated mm -hmm. with God if they do not keep their part of the covenant? Mm -hmm. Now, in Christ, we are even more accountable because Colossians 2.11 says that we are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, meaning that God circumcised us. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, if our part of the covenant is to be circumcised, and God does the circumcising for us, we are without excuse. Mm -hmm. It is just and right for God to cut off those who are not circumcised. Now, going back to Genesis 17 and verse 10 he says this is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee every man child among you shall be circumcised and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you mm -hmm. so circumcision is the thing that sets the people of God apart from the world this is the token of the covenant and so it is not strange that if someone, if someone is not circumcised, they have no association with the people of God. And so it's not strange that that person should be cut off from their people. Now, let's go back to Colossians 2.11. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. This circumcision is a purifying work. It is the removing of the body of the sins of the flesh. Amen. So if someone is not circumcised with the circumcision of Christ, then they still have on them that filthy body the body of the sins of the flesh. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And God's nature and kingdom cannot tolerate the presence of sin. Amen. Amen. Habakkuk 1.13 says, Thou art a purer eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look upon iniquity. Right. Psalm 5.4, For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, mm -hmm. neither shall evil dwell with thee, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight, 
Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Mm. Revelation 21, 27. This is talking about New Jerusalem. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Amen. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Amen. Psalm 24, 3. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul to vanity, mm -hmm. nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Amen. Amen. So only the ones with circumcised hearts will enter into the kingdom of God. Right. All others will be cut off. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. cannot allow the uncircumcised to dwell with the righteous. Mm -hmm. It is fitting and just for them to be cut off. Amen. So someone will either cut off the unholy part of themselves through circumcision, or their whole soul will be cut off in its unrighteousness. It is necessary that the unrighteousness be cut off. So either, either it's cut off through the circumcision of Christ, or the whole man is cut off. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what, what does it really mean to be cut off from your people? This is not merely a social disassociation, but a cutting off of anything that relates to this family. Mm -hmm. So if someone were to be cut off from a family of beggars, they would not be at much loss. Mm. But the family we are in is a family of kings and priests. Amen. Amen. And our Father is the King of kings. Amen. 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 Going back to Genesis 17, verse 7 here. This is God telling Abraham what he will do in this covenant. He says, And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger and all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Yeah. So if a son of Abraham were cut off from his people, he would have no land of promise. Uh -huh. yeah. He would not have this blessed everlasting possession. And most grievous of anything ever, that God would not be his God. Yeah. See, these things were things that are associated with this family. Amen. If you are cut off from the family, you don't get the promise. Amen. And God is not your God. Amen. So it would be very grievous to be cut off from the family of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, one has come who is greater than the temple. Yeah. And he is greater than Jonas. Mm -hmm. And he is greater than Solomon. In John 8, 53, the Jews asked him, Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. This man is honored of God. He doesn't honor himself, but God is the one who honors him. Yet, Ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Amen. And he saw it and was glad. <laughs> then, the Jews, then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus saith unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Amen. Amen. Now this is the man who is the mediator of a better covenant, yeah. mm -hmm. which is established upon better promises. Amen. 
This is the man with whom we have to do. Let us not be cut off from this covenant. Amen. Ephesians 1.3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So all the blessings we have are in Christ. Yeah. If we are cut off from this family, we will have no blessings. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 1.20 For all the promises of God... In him are yea, mm -hmm. and in him, amen, mm -hmm. unto the glory of God by us. Mm -hmm. If we are cut off from this family, then we have none of the promises of God. Yeah, that's right. Ephesians 2, 11, Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were... Without Christ, mm -hmm. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. Mm -hmm. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were afar off, mm -hmm. are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. For he is our peace, mm -hmm. who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Mm -hmm. So if you are cut off... From the people of God, you are without blessings, without promises, without Christ, without hope, without God, mm -hmm. without peace, without access, mm -hmm. without boldness before God. You are afar off. You're a stranger to the covenant of a, a stranger to the covenants of promise mm -hmm. and an alien to the commonwealth of Israel. Yeah. Luke 13, 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? Mm -hmm. And he saith unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut the door, mm -hmm. and ye begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not yeah. whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. He said, I know you not whence you are. Mm -hmm. See, this is someone who is not associated mm -hmm. with God's people. Amen. Yeah. See, Amen. we, we want to be known of God. Yeah. 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 You have to be associated with this family. This is a family we want to be in. Yeah. Amen. So being cut off from God's people ultimately means damnation. Yes. Yeah. Only those in God's family will make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. The rest will be thrust off. Out. Mm -hmm. So there is no hope of eternal life for those who are cut off. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we know that God will do what he said. Mm -hmm. He will cut off the soul that is not circumcised. And he will be just in doing this. And the uncircumcised one will be without excuse. Mm -hmm. And this cutting off will ultimately end in damnation. Mm -hmm. Genesis 4, 7, God said to Cain, If thou doest well, mm -hmm. shalt thou not be accepted? Mm -hmm. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Mm -hmm. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, mm -hmm. and be no more stiff-necked. Stiff For the Lord your God is God of gods, mm -hmm. And Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, mm -hmm. nor taketh reward. Amen. Amen. So let us submit ourselves to Christ and be circumcised by him. Amen. And if we are circumcised by, by him, 
we will no more walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. See, if he cuts off the body of the sins of the flesh, yeah. we won't walk by the flesh anymore, mm -hmm. but by the spirit. Mm -hmm. And Romans 8 says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who walk not after the flesh, mm -hmm. but after the spirit. 